Just for Moms Mondays, brought to you by the sponsors of MomsEveryday.com. Welcome to MomsEveryday.com. I'm your host, Jen Lennon. Today I'm joined by Marilyn Bardash. She is a volunteer with CASA of the Pikes Peak region. Marilyn, welcome. Thank you. Now, Marilyn, many of us have heard of CASA, but can you break it down for us? What exactly is CASA? Uh, the CASA is CASA uh, Court Appointed Special Advocates. Mm -hmm. And what we do is we advocate for children that are abused and neglected in court. And um, unfortunately, there's actually quite a large number of children that find themselves in that situation every year in El Paso and Teller County, right? Yeah, there, was, there were 13,000 reports of abuse in Teller County and El Paso County. Wow. So you, as a special advocate, then you guys come in and you're the voice for those kids? How does that work? We're really the eyes and ears for the judge. Okay. Okay, so what we really are doing is um, making sure that we understand what's going on with the child. So, and we really, we only have one child okay. that we take care of. We're at the, a time, that's at your a time. only case? Well, okay. one family. There may okay, be more so than one sibling. Siblings. Right. Okay. And so we, we spend time with the teachers and the therapists and the friends and the family of the child and find out what they really need. Okay. And then we go to the court and we write a report that gives them all that information. We also spend time with the child so that we get their views and their wants and needs in front of the judge as well. If they're a little bit older, sometimes that's, that's what happens. Now, why is that so important just to have you to advocate for the kids in this process? Well, it, children can get, kind of get lost in the, the legal part of it. Okay. There's lawyers going back and forth with parents and they're all trying to ha take care of themselves. Mm -hmm. And they are ch concerned about their children, but sometimes the children get lost in that. Okay. You know, what they really need and what they really want gets lost in that. And there's probably different people that come in and out, right? Different social workers or different attorneys. Right. But you guys stay the whole time for right. the whole Right, and duration. a case can last a, up to two years. Wow. I've seen some last a little bit longer, but most of the time it's between a year and a half and two years on an abuse case. So you are really <coughs> that anchor for that child right. or for those children. We're that one family. constant throughout that whole entire case. And you're all volunteers at CASA. That's the thing that's amazing to me is, is this is something you do in and above your regular life, right? Right, right. And how were you drawn to this, Marilyn? I was at a church retreat, a woman's retreat, and mm -hmm. I felt led to, to, to work with children. And I've always had a heart for single moms and children. I've always felt that they're, they, they need extra help. It's really a tough situation for, for moms to be in when they're alone. And um, I started working in the children's ministry right after that, and I did that for about two and a half years. And then a friend of mine went to a CASA fundraiser, and she mm -hmm. told me about it. And I thought, you know, maybe I'd be able to help a lot of children that way. My husband and I had talked about fostering and adopting a child, but we really weren't in that position right then at that time to do it. And so I really felt like I could really work with children in in this capacity as a volunteer and really make an impact in and their And did lives. you have a lot of background in social work or legal things or oh, do no, they not give at you all. training? Not at all. Okay. Um, they give you a lot of training okay. um, and the support staff at CASA is awesome. You know, if you have a problem or you're concerned about something or you don't know the answer to something, you always have somebody to go to. And you've seen some wonderful positive endings to these stories, right? Oh, absolutely. Children end up in a really safe place. Okay. Um, it, that may be with their biological family or it might be with a foster family, a foster adopt family. Um, but they're safe, and that's really what the goal is, is to get those children into a permanent safe position. And there's only 200 of you, you said, at CASA, and you said earlier there's potentially 13,000 children a year that need you, right? Yeah, part so of the problem. people need to part call. Of, yeah, part of the problem is that we just don't have enough CASAs to take care of those children. About half the children are being served right now that okay. need a CASA. So if folks are interested after they've heard your story, they need to get online and call CASA today. Absolutely. Absolutely. Thanks, Absolutely. Marilyn. Thank you. Thank you for joining me today and every day. I'm your host, Jen Lennon, for MomsEveryday.com. Moms Every Day, weekdays on KKTV, is brought to you by the sponsors of MomsEveryday.com.